how the full moon in Virgo is going to be affecting the Divine Masculines, what they're going to be feeling, what they're experiencing, what they're going to be releasing. Um, and the full moon in Virgo is going to be um, February the 27th. And I think it's going to be 717 um, powerful numbers um, in the UK. So I'm really interested to see how this is going to affect the Divine Masculines. So because it's going to be a moon full moon reading i'm going to be using the moonology cards of course <laughs> so i'm going to start shuffling like i said guys i hope you're well when you're coping because we do get an effect sometimes when we're build, you know building up to this full, full moon you can have physical symptoms it can affect you physically and emotionally where you're feeling a bit overwhelmed and you're releasing things that aren't serving you anymore and you're really experiencing things that maybe from the past that are coming up, um, just things, reoccurring things that you have to make sure that you're releasing and you've, you've cleared up and that you've learned how to deal with the situation. Like you've learned that, you know, things that have happened before and how you deal with it. Are you going to really deal with it in the correct way this time, you know? And just making sure that you are releasing everything. So emotions could be running high for you. So the Divine Muskins could be experiencing this as well, but... We know that at the moment everything is really shifting quite quickly. Things are happening really quickly within the Divine Masculines and yourself because um, you're one soul anyway. So um, let me know how you're feeling at the moment on this journey of yours. Always love hearing from you guys. If you are new, welcome to my channel Aligned with My Soul. My name is Zoe. Um, thank you to all of you for your love and support. Um, for sharing how you're feeling, sharing your love with me, for the donations, um, just making time to comment. It just means so much to me. I'm so very, very grateful. Um, and if you would like a private reading, um, just email me. It's in the description box down below if you want to clear a message on your twin flame, unique twin flame journey. I'd be happy to do that. And my readings are timely, so it doesn't matter when you tap onto this video. If it resonates, it means it's for you. And I use the labels Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine because that's how I channel. Um, so please don't be offended. Just put it into your situation, how it resonates. Um, I do realise it's just energy. So when I'm shuffling, <laughs> this card came out. <laughs> A win-win outcome is forecast. How amazing is that? <laughs> a win-win forecast a win-win outcome is forecast sorry and then we've got don't let pride get in your way and i'm going to get one more for this reading what else do we need to know about the divine masculines during this full moon in virgo what else do we need to know how they're going to be feeling what they're going to be experiencing nice clear message going to be experiencing this full moon in Virgo February 2021 how are they going to be feeling what they're going to be experiencing <laughs> communication guys is the key wow how powerful is that so there's a win-win outcome to you know this forecast <laughs> This experience and how they're going to be feeling, the energy they're going to be experiencing is just going to be so positive for the Divine Masculines. It's all good. Um, and they realise, they're in that place now where they realise that the outcome is so positive for them because they're looking at things differently. They're looking at things through the eyes of love. They have changed their perception. And they have made this decision to commit to this journey into themselves. And, you know, by committing to themselves, it's committing to you as well, because you're one soul. So they're not as afraid. They realise that there's no bad. There is nothing to worry about. There's nothing to be afraid about because they're managing their ego. They're managing their higher self. They've got themselves in a place where they have this deep understanding and there cannot be anything 
um, to be afraid of or to worry about because it's in their control. They realise that they are the creator of their life and they know that they're taking responsibility of how they're feeling and they are learning this and they're getting this more and more every day. So this brings a win-win forecast because even when you're having dark times, when you're experiencing our, our uncomfortable times, the divine masculines are realising now that's all part of their growth and it's just about managing how you look at things, how you, you know, when you're looking, if you're thinking, oh my goodness, why has this happened? The divine masculines are understanding that they're learning from every experience they have, good or bad, you know, the darkness and light. They're ex they realise that they're learning from this all the time. So everything that they've been worried about, the situation with you, it's a, they know that it's a win-win outcome. There's nothing to worry about. And they've got this under control now, and it's a full moon in Libra. And it's 80, which is infinity. So how amazing is that, guys? Let's see. The full moon in Libra, the sign of partnership, of falling in love, or, <laughs> and of closely relating to someone else. That They are so in love with you, and they're so ready to explode and share, with, share this with you because they're feeling so much more confident because they have... They've had this awakening, they're so conscious of everything that's happening, they understand what's going on, they're not so afraid anymore. And this is bringing so much love to them, they just want to express it to you now, and they want to be close to you, and they're so in love with you, and they want to be able to tell you now, it's really, they really are being pushed. Since the full moons are about climaxes and conclusions, this card suggests you're either about to start a new relationship, or that an important existing relationship is changing somehow, perhaps coming to an end or moving to a new level of commitment. Can you believe that, guys? This is just perfect, isn't it? The divine masculines are ready, guys. It's important to remember that people come to us for a reason, sometimes just for a season. If a relationship is ending now, it's doing so at the right time, so try not to fight it. This card can also refer to a professional relationship. There is a sense that you need to balance your ego with someone else's needs. A win-win outcome is possible with give and take. Doing so might be the answer to your question. There you go, guys. <laughs> this is going to have a really, really positive effect on the Divine Masculines, on your Divine Masculines. Because of the way they're feeling, the way they they have this understanding and the way their perception has changed. It's just amazing. So then we come on to don't let your pride get in your way. They're not going to let their pride get in their way anymore because, again, they've got this balance. They have this balance. They're not allowing the ego to take over. They're not going to let their pride get in the way of this love anymore. Um, and that's why there will be a win-win outcome. And they realise this now. So... Let's see what the guidebook says about the pride. Don't let your pride get in the way. But that's my, you know, I'm trusting my intuition, how I'm reading this. How I'm being, you know, how I'm channeling this is um, they're not going to let their pride get in the way anymore. So it's full moon in Leo. So let's see what it's got to say. Have you been letting your pride become an obstacle? Is the question you're asking based on your ego or is it from your heart? There you go. Because they aren't listening to their... They've got this balance. Obviously, you need your ego, but they're not allowing it to take over their life anymore. And this is why there's a win-win outcome. And um, they're listening to their heart. They're being true to themselves. Leo energy is all about the heart. Think of the big hearty king of the jungle, the lion. Its energy is magnificent, but when it's combined with the rush of the full moon, it can become over the top. This card may have come to you because you need to end a deadlock that has developed. More love and thoughts for this greater good are the solution in this dilemma. If you're, if you've not been doing as if you'd be done by, if you're not been doing as you would be done by lately, this is the time to find the balance between your own needs and the needs of the people around you. This will help all of your relationships. Yeah. They know that then you know they understand this journey. They're not going to let their pride get in the way anymore. They're just going to come from the heart. They are just ready to share this love now. Because there's this consciousness they're experiencing. They're awake. 
they've just been so supported and guided at the moment and they're so connected to source spirit god whatever the word your divine masculine use uses they're just so connected and just have this great beautiful understanding they've got so much knowledge and they're having so much download of information because they're freeing them up their mind they're freeing themselves they're allowing themselves to be which is enabling them to see different things and see things in a more positive way and just opening up opening up to new things to looking at things differently not in such a set way anymore so they're not letting their pride get in the way of this situation they're letting it go um, because they, they know it's the win-win outcome to it by by doing that and then there's nothing to worry about in this situation the only thing that creates worry is the ego because the ego feeds us stupid stories and lots of nonsense so and then you've got communication is key new moon in gemini so they know that communication is the key how they're going to be communicating with you and it could be a big sign that over this um during this moon, full moon in Virgo, that they could be communicating with you. They really are going to make this clear to you that this change that they've made and this, that, you know, that they have this different look on how they're looking at things have changed. And we all know that when the Divine Masculines are communicating or they when they do next communicate, if you haven't heard anything from your Divine Masculines, they have to speak to you differently. They have to be themselves and they're revealing more and more of that now because they're not so afraid because they've figured things out. They know that everything they've been so afraid of before is just not true. They're confident within themselves. They're feeling better about themselves. They're accepting themselves and they know the communication is the key. They know they've got to make this communication with you. They've got to share who they are. They've got to share how they're feeling about you. They've got to share just this unconditional pure love that they feel for you they know how important this it is and it's time to do this and during the full moon in virgo this is what they will be really being pushed and guided to do during this time and this is when <clears throat> you know this win-win outcome <laughs> you'll be seeing this as well let's see what is it new moon in gemini so it's 46, which is 4 and 6 is 10, which is completion, end of a cycle. And it says about relationship as well, guys. So this is really big time. <laughs> this is, uh, I just it just blows me away how amazing these readings are and how on point they are. A successful relationship usually comes down to one thing communication and the new moon in gemini card is all about the start of a new cycle for communicating with the person at the center of your question yes they know that they've got to communicate with you they know it's got to be different <laughs> this is just so this is this is the new beginning starting they're going to show you you know even though the new beginning starting for the divine muskins because they've committed to themselves and you've started your new beginning you're actually going to be experiencing this with your divine masculine because they're going to be showing you this new the way of communicating with you with this pure unconditional love this showing who they are trusting that they're safe to take their masks down to share who they really are sorry i'm getting carried away talking things through is the answer to whatever it is you're asking about if you can't talk to that person you can journal about it to yourself emails text messages and all other forms of communication will also help you now if the issues you're asking about concerns a sibling or a neighbor there's a new start coming a time to wipe the slate clean and start over this card could also suggest you've been too frivolous lately and you need to get grounded again but most importantly drawing this card emphasizes the need to, to communicate yeah they have this urge and your divine masculine could have done this several times where they've gone to communicate with you in some way by text by phone call by email um whatever way you know that your divine masculine communicates they've been they've done tried to do this so many times and then maybe maybe be too afraid but they know now they really are being pushed to be able to do this to actually communicate with you properly not the old way, the, you know, just bringing this new 
um, fresh communication that you've, that you've always wanted from your divine masculine, they are going to be pushed to do this. They know that communication is the key. They know how important it is how they communicate with you. They're thinking about how they're communicating with you. If you are in contact with your divine masculine, you may have seen a difference of how they're communicating with you. They're being more considerate and really thinking about how it what they're saying is affecting you and if they're saying the right thing and um just being being more um free of, of not worrying about what they're you know what i'm saying like they're not worrying about hiding themselves anymore they're allowing them sh themselves to express themselves express their emotions of how they've been feeling um just feeling free really and not being afraid of who they really are, not being afraid to share consideration and love and how they've been feeling, um, and not afraid to receive love as well, most importantly. not They're just feeling more at ease with everything because they have this deeper understanding, <sighs> because they've had this big shift within them. It's just amazing, isn't it, guys? It's just magical. <laughs> And, my, you know, you, you're doing such a grand job, guys, because you're one soul, and this is why your divine masculine has got to this stage, because you're aligning with your soul. You're aligning with your soul. Can you believe it? This is just amazing. This is overwhelming. So communication is the key. They realise this, and they're not going to let their pride get in the way, because they understand whatever <laughs> happens is always a win-win outcome. There's always a win-win outcome. There's nothing to be afraid of. They feel safe. They're taking responsibility of how they're feeling and they have been connected. You know, <clears throat> they are connected, sorry, to source, to God, to the angels, to spirit, whatever word works better for you. But they have this connection where they're feeling safe and protected. And just allowing this to happen, to allow themselves to receive this love, to know that they're worthy of this love. How amazing, guys. This is just so overwhelming, still too much. <laughs> Let's see what the communications is that they'd love to say to you during this full moon in Virgo. February 2021. What they'd love to say to you during this full moon in Virgo. I'm transforming, yeah. They are transforming. They have transformed and they're continually, continuously transforming. Our passion is real, yeah. So the passion you feel for each other is real and your divine masculine wants you to know that this is real. If you've been doubting it and fearing it and thinking you're going crazy, am I making this up? You could be experiencing this um, sacred sexual energy where you're just feeling so much passion, where you're just like really desiring your divine masculine. They're experiencing the same thing and this is real. Nobody compares to you. That comes out a lot as well. Nobody compares to you. Um, so if you have been feeling insecure and worrying about this, this is real, guys. This experience is real. This love is so real. This passion is so real. Your divine masculine has transformed and still is transforming. You know, it's an ongoing thing, isn't it? Um, and nobody compares to you. Nobody compares to you because they understand this journey now. They understand it and they're allowing it to happen. They're accepting it. And the way you feel about your divine masculine, your divine masculine feels about you. And that's really hard to take on board sometimes, I know. That's something I really struggle with. Um, but it's true. It is true. And you know that within you, really. If you allow yourself to believe and allow your ego to not poke its nose in, <laughs> you do know that, really. So take that on board, guys. Right now, it's time to get my own energy pots and give them a big old shuffle energy they in for my pots during this full moon in Virgo strength yeah they have this strength now they found their inner strength they've got this 
they're understanding this li that life they've got it they found this strength within them and that's why they're in they're having this experience right now because they've got the strength they've got the strength they they've committed and, and they want to come towards you they have the strength to do this and they're going to be gaining even more strength during this full moon in Virgo. Freedom, yeah, this is creating so much freedom. They're feeling so much freer now. They're experiencing this inner peace, which is causing freedom. They're not so burdened anymore. They're not so afraid because not allowing, they're not going to listen to the ego and think they have to be a certain way or certain, do a certain thing in the 3D. They just changed their whole view on life, which is causing freedom because they, they're loving themselves more. They're seeing themselves through the eyes of love. Well, they love communicate. Sorry, to communicate with you. You're my guiding light. You are a guiding light. And what else is giving them a good, 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 good shuffle? Two came out. Mm. I've cried so much since we've been apart, is one of the communications. So, you know, the Divine Masculines have had a mask up and they don't actually express or share how they've been feeling. They've learned that they are going to be able to do this, they have the strength to do this now. But since you've been apart, they have cried so much. And that might be really hard for you to believe because you think that they're really cold and that they don't feel upset and they're just getting on with their life and they don't care. But that's just the act, that's the mask that they're wearing. They are upset, they do cry. They do cry, they do get upset. They just hide it, which is really sad. It must be very lonely. You make me feel so alive, yeah. You make them feel so alive. And that's the communication they'd love to say to you. They're beautiful, isn't it? That's absolutely amazing. Sorry, I have to keep doing this just so you can see them. Um, so I'm going to get on. I'm going to use a Moonology card for you as well now, guys, um, to see what you need to know during this full moon in Virgo, February 2021. What is the message for the person that's watching during this full moon in Virgo? help the person that's watching to stay focused keep believing what do they need to know during this full moon and Virgo for them to focus on to help the person have the strength to carry on this journey right let's see What do you need to release? Wow, that's very powerful for this full moon in Virgo. If there's something you need to release, guys, this is the time to do it. Is there something else that you need to release? Is there something else that's really, you know, you're feeling uncomfortable about? This is the time to release it. And it's, um, I never know how to pronounce it. If it's a, a wanning moon or wanning moon. Um, so <laughs> I'm not very good at... Um, when there's a word about pronouncing it properly so um let's see what it says so if there's something you need to release guys do it during this new moon in, i mean for this full moon in virgo because um you could be feeling quite uncomfortable actually at the moment um if you're releasing but just know that when you are releasing when you are feeling uncomfortable it's still movement forwards so don't feel scared don't be worried just go with the flow accept how you're feeling allowing yourself to release just allow yourself to feel the way you are and to release it and it will pass so let's see what it says and it's 100 page 100 which is very positive as well the wanting the wanting moon points to what is falling away yeah i think that all of the old is falling away guys Life goes in cycles and sometimes we need to down downtime or to let go. No matter when in the moon cycle you pull this card, it's a sign that a situation has peaked for better or worse and it's time for you to go easier. It's the autumn and winter of the cycle, so what 
do you need to release? Almost certainly something from the situation you're asking about. This card can be very positive, but it can still be gently positive, sorry, but it can still be gently suggesting that you let something go and stop trying so hard. Yes, guys. And as soon as that says that in that guidebook, don't, it's to me that is saying, let go of this situation with your divine masculine. Let go of it. Just allow this to happen. Stop trying to control it of how you think it's going to happen, when you think it should happen. Release this. Just release this this worry from yourself, this, well, this fear that it's not happening or just controlling it. It's just you need to release control. Just release and allow and trust divine timing. Trust God. Believe in your divine masculine. Believe your divine masculine is capable. And you don't need to focus on your divine masculine, like I always say, because I just hope that you understand what I'm saying. You have to focus on yourself and let go of the fear and the doubt that your divine masculine is not coming back to you. Release this during this full moon in, in Virgo. Do re just release it. Release stuff that no longer serves you. You don't need to fear or doubt because your divine masculine, your one soul. So when you're aligned with your soul, your divine masculine will come back to you. When you're being true to yourself, when you stop talking a load of rubbish to yourself, and you centre yourself, you balance the ego and your higher self, and you just find, when you're in that peaceful place, when you find inner peace, you're aligning with who you really are, you're aligning with your soul, you're just being, and that's when your divine masculine has that shift within him or her, um, and that, that's when you, you come back together. So please release this during this full moon in Virgo. It's really important. All the worries and things that you have that have been affecting you, that's toxic, negative, you know, negative, um, all of those things need to go now because you so deserve this new beginning. You so deserve this beautiful love. Just keep believing. Know it's happening and stop controlling it and wanting to know that you want this to know when it's happening know it's happening know that you have nothing to worry about know that your divine masculine loves you because you're one soul and the more love and the more focus you can you know give yourself the more you're helping your divine masculine because you're one soul and your divine masculine is just teaching you and triggering you and what's happened in the past is to push you to find the greatest love of all and that's loving yourself. And when you're loving yourself, knowing your worth, your divine masculine does the same because you're one soul and then you will come back together. And when you are in separation or a challenge with your divine masculine, I like to say preparation, not separation, because you're one soul. You're both preparing, you're both dealing with stuff, you're both finding yourself, so you're both learning, you're getting rid of the old and you're just preparing to come back together as one. It's just magical and it's so beautiful when you have this understanding, when you are aligned, all of the pain and the obstacles that we think that are there, which are actually your illusions, they just dissolve and they fade away. And I just feel a lot of um, divine feminines are at this place now where they do have this understanding. And if this message resonates to you and you're feeling peaceful and you're feeling overwhelmed with this love, I feel, you know, that you are you are at that, in that space. This is happening for you. But if you're watching this reading and you're getting frustrated and you're being angry, you need to work on self more. You need to find you need to, you need to find this inner peace. You need to let go of the past and not watch watch my readings because my readings will always wind you up because I'm always speaking positive about the divine masculines. <laughs> because as we know, this isn't about the divine masculines. This is about you, the person that's watching. And when you suss that, when you get that, that is when your divine masculine will come back, and that's when you'll get the answers to what you're wanting. 
So, well, what a powerful reading, guys. Release during this full moon in Virgo. Release the control. This is happening and believe. So, I hope you enjoyed this reading for the Divine Masculines during the full moon in Virgo, February 2021. I really enjoyed doing it. And it's so positive. Um, like I said, if you would like a private reading, just email me. It's in the description box down below. And if you are new, don't forget to subscribe. If you feel connected to me, like and share the video because it helps my channel grow. And as you know, guys, I'm always thinking about you. And I'm always here for you guys. Leave me a comment down below and let me know how your journey's going. And... I'm sending my love, my support, my strength and my light to you and I love you all so much. See ya. Oh.